Hi, this is Narmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSO College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about the fifth unit of data structures in Python. So first we are going to see about graph ADT. A graph is a pictorial representation of a set of objects where some pairs of objects are connected by links. The interconnected objects are represented by points termed as vertices and the links that connect the vertices are called edges. Display graph vertices, display graph edges, add a vertex, add an edge creating a graph. Then graph and its representations. Representation of graphs can be represented in two ways, adjacency matrix and adjacency list. So adjacency matrix is a way of representing graph in a matrix of boolean zeros and ones. Adjacency list is the array of list is used to store edges between two vertices. The size of an array is equal to the number of vertices that is uh, each index in this array represents a size vert specific vertex in the graph. The entry at the index i of the array contains a linked list containing the vertices that are adjacent to vertex i. The next is the graph traversal. Breadth first traversal for a graph is similar to breadth first traversal of a tree. The only catch here is unlike trees, graphs may contain cycles so we may come to the same node again. To avoid processing a node more than once, we use a boolean visited array. For simplicity, it is assumed that all vertices are reachable from the starting vertex. For example, in the graph, we start traversal from vertex 2. When we come to vertex 0, we look for all adjacent vertices of it. So 2 is also an adjacent vertex of 0. So if we don't mark a visited vertices, then 2 will be processed again and it will become a non-terminating process. The next is the graph traversal. Another method is the depth first traversal of a graph or a graph is similar to the depth first traversal of a tree. The only catch here is unlike graphs, graph, uh, sorry, unlike trees, graphs may contain cycles. So we may have to come to the same node again. To avoid processing a node more than once, we use a boolean visited array. For example, uh, when we come to vertex 0, we look for all the adjacent vertices of it. 2 is also an adjacent vertex of 0. If we don't mark visited vertices, then 2 will be processed again and it will be a non-terminating process. The next is a directed acyclic graph. A directed acyclic graph DAG, D-A-G, is a graph which does not contain a cycle and has directed edges. We are given a DAG, we need to clone it, that is create another graph that has copy of its vertices and the edges connecting them. A DAG is a directed acyclic graph, a type of graph whose nodes are directionally related to each other and don't form a directional closed loop. In the practice of analytics engineering, DAGs are often used to visually represent the relationship between your data models. The next is the topological ordering. Topological sorting for a directed acyclic graph is a linear ordering of vertices thus such that for every directed edge UV, vertex U comes before V in the ordering. Topological sorting for a graph is not possible if the graph is not a DAG. For example, a topological sorting of the following graph is 5, 4, 2, 3, 1, 0. There can be more than one topological sorting for a graph. For example, another topological sorting of the following graph is 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 0. The first vertex in topological sorting is always a vertex with in degree as 0. Topological sorting can be implemented recursively and non-recursively. The next is the shortest path. So dictionary algorithm is used to find the shortest path between two points in a weighted graph. It is essential for solving problems such as network, routing and mapping. Zero. Dictionary algorithm finds the shortest path between a given node which is called the source node and all other nodes in a graph. This algorithm uses the weights of the edges to find the path that minimizes the total distance between the source node and all other nodes. The next topic is the minimum spanning tree. In a spanning tree, the edges may or may not have weighted associates with them. Therefore, the spanning tree in which the sum of edges is minimum as possible, then that spanning tree is called the minimum spanning tree. One graph can have multiple spanning tree, but it can have only one unique minimum spanning tree. A minimum spanning tree, MST, is a subset of the edges of a connected 
edge weighted graph that connects all the vertices together without any cycles and with the minimum possible total edge weight. It is a way of finding the most economical way to connect a set of vertices. So thank you.